Greetings, I'm Pastor Eric Smith, and this is Wakening Grace. Pierre Teilhard de Chardin wrote this, You are not a human being in search of a spiritual experience. You are a spiritual being immersed in a human experience. We've considered this before, yet this thought is worthy of our continuing meditation. Have you thought of yourself? Do you think of yourself as a spiritual being immersed in a human experience? Here's how I think about this. I played water polo, and all four of our kids played water polo. The game is played in a swimming pool, sometimes in the ocean. It's all in deep water, so an essential skill is treading water. Most of us know how to tread water. It's part of learning to swim. The common experience is to do a scissors kick with your legs and use your arms to give you enough upward thrust to keep your head out of the water. It's energetic and it takes some exertion and it doesn't work in water polo. Water polo players have to use their hands and arms for passing the ball or for grabbing an opponent. If you're using your arms to tread water, you can't do either of those things. Water polo players learn how to tread water using only their legs. It's called the egg beater kick. Once you learn how to do it, you can tread water without using your hands or arms. There's a learning curve attached to the egg beater kick. You have to practice it for a while to learn how to do it. I used to teach beginning players, usually 10 and 11 year olds, and part of their learning was how to do the egg beater. Explain the process to them, show them how to do it, then put them in the deep end of the pool and tell them to lift their hands out of the water and tread water using the egg beater kick. They start off good for a few seconds and then they start to sink until just the tips of their fingers are out of the water and then they tip their heads back so that they can get their nose and their lips out of the water. They struggle mightily to keep themselves afloat and sometimes go under. It's a challenge for those youngsters and it's really humorous to watch. This is what I think of when I think of spiritual beings immersed in the human experience. It's like learning to tread water without using your arms. We struggle to stay afloat, to not go under, to grab a breath and sink a little, then summon the effort to rise up out of the water and grab another breath. And just like those novice water polo players, as we practice our faith, it gets easier to keep our head above water. Will you pray with me? O oh Lord our God, thank you for this experience of life I'm having. I want to live to the fullest. Help me today to see something I can do to practice my faith. This is my prayer. Amen. <laughs>